Alright, cheapoppers and cheapappers, or whatever, I, I, you know, I don't even know anymore, but like, I'm just here to teach you how to install DLCs for any game on the PS3 emulator on PC. So, I have some DLCs downloaded already for this game, for Grand Turismo 5. Uh, some of them seem to work, some of them don't. So, just uh, be patient and you'll get them working. It's not, it's not that difficult and that's what I'm here to show you. So, before you uh, do anything, I'm not... Okay, so... In the description, I'm going to leave some links down. Um, or if you join my Discord server, you will see a folder that's similar to this. Right? And it will have a whole instruction um, text document I made. None of the codes used are mine. I own nothing in this. I do not own us, uh, RPCS3. Obviously, I do not own PlayStation, nor 7s here, nor the doc spreadsheet for which CPUs are the best to use and which CPUs are dog shit. I do not own the Mega Threads, I do not own GitHub, I do not own Rusty PSN. These are all by the respected people who made them and who own them. I'm just simply dishing them out for free use because they are really, really good. So, anyways, you will get, so if you join my Discord server, you'll get this text document. If not, then just follow along. You're probably gonna do that anyways. It's not a big deal. So what you do is you extract Rusty PSN and you will see, well, you'll see Rusty PSN. So now what you do is you right click on the game that you want. So for this example, it is going to be Gran Turismo 5 respectively is going to be the EU version because I live in EU so there will be a downloads uh, no that is not what you want you want copy info and then you are going to copy the serial so where it says copy serial you just click copy serial nothing more nothing less so it's right click copy info copy serial when you open up Rusty PSN that's big there you will see at the top that there is a title serial. You paste the serial B C E S O O whatever blah blah blah. Search for updates and you will see that there are for Grand Chessman 5 there will be a lot of updates. So then once you find all of these updates, what you do is you uh, click download file. Or if you're smart, you can click the download all button if you can read. It's not that difficult. And you will see a bunch of, uh, well, notifications pop up on your PC. I'll make this bigger for you. Uh, some of them might say, oh, oh shit, this doesn't work. No, honestly, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but yeah, make sure you have 4.6 gigabytes available. Otherwise, um, yeah, it's not gonna go, it's not gonna work. So you need the storage for this. I should probably announce that. Um, but you just wait for these like rusties to appear. Very harmful, very harmful, very harmful. Um, it's not, don't be stupid. All right, so what you wanna do now is you want to go to your folder I'm going to do this off camera because my PC is a mess and I don't want to open the wrong folder and somehow access porn. That would not be good at all. Um, so whilst I'm finding this, once your Rusty has downloaded, you want to go into your file explorer. And this is still going on. I, I don't know how. But anyways, that is fine. So what I did was is I went into Ah, you know what? I should probably explain this. Okay, so when you open up Rusty PSN, sorry, I forgot the step. <laughs> I forgot the step. So click the cog icon and you will be able to allocate a download path. A 
and it'll also set, show uh, in-app toasts and notifications, which you saw at the bottom right. I like to have these on because I'm just weird. But yeah, so you pick a folder and bang, these are where all of your patches go into for your updates. These are not the DLCs. We'll get into the DLC shortly, so just be patient. It's not that long. So you'll see the game that you want. Obviously, you would realistically want to do this for all the games that do say, oh, update me. And then it should be like an update, like some fuck shit, like by the version or some shit. But anyways, uh, so once you've uh, gone into Rusty's and you've done that, what's the next step? The next step is to uh, find somewhere you get the DLCs from. I'm not going to distribute that. You're going to have to find that yourself. Totally don't go into the uh, into my Discord server. Uh, I'm not. Uh, but anyways, once you find it, you just uh, you go to where you want. So it'd be PlayStation 3. And then you might be like, oh, what the fuck is no intro USA? No, it's, it don't mean shit. I'll, I'll click it now. None of this, none of this works. In fact, I don't even know if this site works anymore. I'm not going to lie to you. But um, what I did is I went to contents. I clicked this button. Mmm, zesty. And then you just type in Gran Turismo 5 or whatever game you want. My laggy ass PC, I'm going to have a seizure. I am going to actually have a seizure. Anyway, so you'll see all the DLCs. Very sketchy, I know. Just hold on a second, okay? I promise it's completely safe. So. You pick some fuck shit you want from the region you want. So if it's Europe, you'll click Europe. So I am going to try this again. That is Gran Turismo 6. I need Gran Turismo 5. Um, we are going to go for... We're going to go for the Subaru BRZ, because why not? Fuck off. Ah, I'm going to do this off camera. It's probably going to punch me in the face and expose all my porn anyways. It did not. Okay, very nice. So, once you grab these files, there are a couple things you can do. So, you can actually go into your games folder. So, that would be in... See if I remember this. Maybe. F ah, so a way you can do this is if you go into here and then you go into. Um, oh, again, sorry, I forgot something about Rusty's. Drag and drop the. Um, oh, 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 oh. So, with Rusty's, when you actually get the, um, the download patches. What you actually want to do is you want to lo locate where you find it. So, for example, these would be all the patches. You just want to like drag and drop them. It might make my PC freak out a bit because I've got the game open. Okay, it doesn't. Thank God. So, it might say like, oh, there you go. Yeah, it did it. That in my minute, it just crashed. Yeah, give it a second. So. Anyways. Okay, so whilst this is doing its thing, don't restart it. Just be patient. Just go like make some toast or watch porn or something like that. I know what you're doing your spare time, you fucking goon. <sighs> Just gonna sit here and wait for it. A lot of porn references I'm making, Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, and there you go. 
So it will say, oh, you have all of these. These are very cool. And obviously, I have them. So there's not much point in me doing that. But I guess just to show you, if you had doubts that it was legit because you're just weird, then that's fine with me. But what I did is I made a DLC folder. I am actually going to show the BRZ to see if it works. But aside from that, I did make a DLC folder and uh, it's got a lot of PKPs and PAPs, PAPs and PICs, PAPs and packages. So I'm actually just going to do all of these and I'll do the Subaru still. So like the PAPs and packages, there's two ways you can do this. You can go to your files and you can go install packages, wraps and edits. Uh, you can do this one by one, but you have got to... That was Dead or Alive 5. <laughs> you can... um, this, is, this is the wrong pissing thing. Alright, so you go here, and then you see like, Oh my god, there's a lot. You can do these one by one. But... I'm gonna do this one by one. I, I don't I don't fucking even know what, what I'm installing because obviously they they're encrypted so they have, don't have the the, the 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 shit so but another way you can do this is if you just uh, drag and drop and you see in the green text that they've all installed some are for the version 1.0s and other bullshit. But I'm going to get the BRZs and uh, you are going to want to add them to your... I am not going to add them. I'm just going to drag and drop them here. Just so I actually know what the f I'm picking up. And copy this. Go back to the emulator and it will say the packages have installed. Now I'm going to delete these two. Just for my own insanity. So... Now load up the game. This might take a while. This is going to take a while and my PC is going to take a shit. So I will be back once it's done. Alright, smooth cases. I am back. So, let's see if this works. Some DLCs work, some don't. So just keep that in mind. Okay, okay. Probably isn't going to work because it might have been the wrong version. But, you know, I have got some... Uh, Yeah, we don't speak about that. Okay, but no, none of the DLCs seem to have worked. I'm not sure if it's, I don't remember if it's you get them like at the end of the game or when you reach level 30. Uh, um, but I do know uh, if I go into the dealership that there will be uh, now I don't know if my game is going to crash uh, It does kick me out of the Toyota and the Subaru So I think I fixed ah. I still haven't fixed it Okay So I don't know what causes this bug I think it's just Japanese dealerships it does this for I I think. How do you? Ah, so it might be all dealerships that have DLCs in them. Maybe. Wait, what has. Nah, I know Nissan kicks me out. Nissan kicks me out, yeah. Um. So, if you want to remove. Um. DLCs from your DLCs or updates from your packages. Oh, see, Jaguar Jaguar works, and this is DLC. Ah, it might just be. I might just have a corrupted folder or some shit. I don't, I'm not sure. BMW. Yeah, so it's literally just it's just Japanese dealerships. The game spews back into my face. I think it's trying to tell me that I use Japanese cars too much. But yeah, now nah, you see event the Aventador's there. I wish I could show you like the others because they were mainly fucking Japanese DLCs because it's a Japanese 
studio. Yeah, of course that wouldn't bog me out too. Yeah. Um, but no, it does work. Yeah. Civics. Oh, okay. Um, I can. I will also leave this save file. Um, for download as well. Obviously, whenever you are downloading um dlcs and other things please for the love of god make sure you back up your saves or if you're like doing any add-ons or anything to your games please always back up your save data i am not responsible if your save data is blow up on themselves i'm not talking about your pcs but i need to finish these okay so when i finish the Valley Events and the Grand Tour. I got silver on this, yeah. So when I finish the Grand Tour, the Grand Tour is my Valley. I will probably, I will most likely create a link, um, because none of these races are done. Like I've not done a single like event in the campaign. My level 22 is legit, is legit, and I've only been doing it from the special events, uh, the, the campaign's a bit balked on this game, like you can just farm special events as long as you get all gold uh, licenses, I think that gets you to like level 15 I think, but anyways, yeah, so anyways, so I'm going to actually do a different game, just to prove Again, that it works because Sandra is my five's a piece of shit. Um. Okay, so I am going to. Uh, let me wait for this. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Car bud. Oh. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna restart the program. Real fast. Alright, so I'm going to do GTI Club. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the game folder. Uh, so, I'm going to open the game folder, I'm going to delete it. Okay, and then refresh. Okay, so you can see GTI Club is gone completely. So I now have to find the uh, the ISO for it, which I should have. I'm gonna be real fucking upset if I've actually lost it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right, I will be back in two seconds, hang on. Alright, uh, I'm back. So, I have got my uh, my GTI Club. I'm going to just send it in here. And GTI Club is now installed. So, Rusty PSN, copy this. And you copy the serial. Uh, you open Rusty PSN. Rusty PSN, run, uh, serial, paste, search, search, click the cog, I'm going to change this, because actually no I'm not, I'm going to actually uh, delete, delete this one, I'm going to remove that there, okay. I'm going to keep it the exact same, so you save it, it's a download file, download all, you just download all. And then you wait, just wait a few seconds, a couple minutes, depending on your internet speed. Nice and easy. And while you're doing that, just, I'm gonna just delete this. Okay, okay. Alright, 
now it says that it's installed we can open up our file folder so then you go to ps3 or wherever you saved it and then so then you go to update I made the f I made this folder. It's called update. I made it myself. If you don't know how to make a folder, let's just right click new folder. Obviously, I've got like a bunch of uh, other shit here. When you make uh, when you extract Rusty, you get a bunch of like logs. Nothing too important. So you just go obviously back up your stuff. Uh, GT5 patches and you see this PKP or PKG drag and drop update downloaded now for the DLCs I'm going into this funny boy um, and let me update let me open this and then go into here. and then here go into here no the content and then I want GTI club so without typing on my keyboards I typed in GTI club here I club enter it's a bit buggy so if it uh just does if it like refreshes on you just uh refresh the page or you can scroll through manually I'll try and do that now Yeah, I'm downloading all of these DO fives later. Digimon. Okay, I did not download that. Fucking past the con. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna scroll through that if that takes too long. Alright, uh, and then you wanna find the car. Uh, I'm gonna find the car pack I want, which is just this one. I'm gonna open it. And then you can close this. You can close everything. And then once you've got your DLCs. gonna have to extract it aren't you so to extract it you just wanted to find just anywhere to put it so I'm uh, make a folder in here and I'm gonna call it DLC DLC and then you get your win raw your winnie raw drag and drop and then drag and drop. And hit a bring. Successfully downloaded packages. And now you start the game. Ugh, my camera's tweaking. <sighs> Konami. <sighs> See my digital. I think due to the fact that I uh, refreshed, I think I lost everything, but it says car in car pack enhance or enhance.
Select level of difficulty. Odds, because I'm a giga chuds. Select a car. In the base game, you only get these five cars. The Volkswagen, the Mini Cooper, the Note 5, the Fiat, and the Lancia. Or the car pack, if you press down on the D-pad, you get a Mini Cooper, a Peugeot 207, the Fiat 500, and a Volkswagen Polo. Oh, and I did not lose any of my save data too. You get this for doing the um, heart challenge. So do I have the police lance here? I still do. Okay. What's a unit? But yeah, that's just the basics. Select the transmission. Dragging and dropping. It's very simple. Rusty PSN makes fun of the
my fucking god, I'm just saying. Holy shit. I'm not trying to do it. Nice. Somebody can like revive the servers for this game because this with a bunch of Select enemies, level of difficulty would be hell of a fun. Uh, hey, that one's actually really hard to get to. Alright, but uh, that's enough of that game before I get like distracted. So now I'm going to show you. Uh, Dead or Alive DLCs. I think it's this one I'm looking for. I'll be back once it's loaded. Okay, it's, uh, I'm back. Yeah, I think this is the correct version I'm playing on. I think. If you don't know anything about Dead or Alive, a lot of the characters, if not all the characters, you have to pay for. And I currently, I'm only missing two, which I have to find the downloads for. Um, but, yeah, no, aside from that, all of the other characters couldn't be what, and I had, I had an outfit for somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah. The cheerleaders, yeah. I'm gonna just load into a, a training, just so you can know it works. Uh, why not? This is faster. Oh yeah, you can see this DLC works as well. Um, yeah, not, not really much more to it, honestly. It's very just dragon drop basis. It's not like intensive like you need any skills. It's literally just, it's 
still packages and shit. Like, it's very just dumbfounds. So trusty PSN, make a folder, drag and drop the folder, or drag the folders into your emulator. Go on the website to find the download, to find DLCs, or if not, you can use your own. Um, and then you just drag and drop the DLCs into a folder into your emulator. Very, very simple. But uh, if you guys also want to know how to um, do this to your emulators or to your actual PS3s, uh, to download custom backgrounds and shit, I can also teach you that. Um, I can also do a tutorial on how to get like modded um, avatars or find their avatars. I am a fucking nerd when it comes to that shit for some reason. Um, but yeah, no, that's all for the tutorial for today. And if you have any questions down below, if I wasn't too clear about the instructions, uh, feel free to contact me on Discord. My Discord link will be in the description along with everything else that you will need. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful evening and I don't know, just, just do something with your life, you know? Stay awesome. Mwah.